Hey guys, welcome back. So you may have wondered um, what that noise was in the last video. So if you haven't figured it out yet, it's not the turbo. It is the, uh, I'll flip it around here and I'll show you. All right, well you guessed it, right there. It's the exhaust manifold. So I ordered these new ones from BD. Looks like they come with all the studs, the spacers, gaskets. Um, one thing you want to try to do, um, I'll show you here. Yours may be a little different than mine. Um, so right there is the, where your EGR goes in, as you can see. So as soon as I got here, I went to loosen those because you want to do them while they're hot. And didn't even matter as soon as i did that that one popped that one popped started to pop so i just left it i'm gonna pull the whole thing off anyways so but i gotta pull air I'm gonna pull the air tube off you gotta pull cac cold side tube you gotta pull the hot side tube pull the intake plenum pull your intake throttle body down in there, uh, we're gonna have to pull the turbo. It's gotta come out because where that is underneath that heat shield is where the exhaust manifolds are on a six seven. And they go back. It's kinda hard to see right now, but I'll show you once we get that opened up. Maybe a little bit, you gotta drain the coolant. Um, it looks like it helps if you pull because you can get that turbo out with the uh, cab on. And so it helps if you pull this coolant tube that's your heater hose or your heater inlet is what they're calling it. Um, and there is an O-ring on the, that side of the tube that does need to get replaced. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started doing this, getting it cooling down and get, a, uh, get her set up and start tearing down and we'll check back in later. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to get these, these studs into, this is the end of the pipe. You're going to want to install them first. So this is where your up pipe comes in or goes out to the turbo. Short end goes in here. Let's see if we can get her started. Just like that. So they say to do it dry, but anybody who's done a wrench, I know better. This anti-seize is gonna be your best friend. It doesn't take much. It's a mess. Guess I better watch what I'm doing. Camera too. So just a touch. Get it started, thread it in as far as you can. And then they make this tool. So it's got thread it in, it's got an Allen key. You thread that on. It's tight, you can see it's moving the stud. Then what they want you to do is Hold the wrench, tighten this screw, so that way you're not pulling on the threads, because you gotta torque them. Your torque may be different. Mine's 115 inch pounds. So then you just do it with your fingers. Don't go crazy with it. Go flying. I've made that mistake before. Right there. Boom. And then put your wrench. Kind of hard to do one handed, but. 
Slap it loose, spins right out, and there you go, it's done. Let's wipe that off. Put it on there, it's going to help you in the long run. So that's how you do those. I'll show you what the other one looks like. Got that one done. Nothing poking through the back. Everything legit. What you do got to watch for. I had to scrape some of these. A um, little bit of paint. Whatever coating they put on there. If that it was a little bit of build up. That stuff's got to come off. All right. I'll show you when I get to the next step. I haven't even started taking it apart yet. I've been draining coolant and I gotta get her cooled down. So we'll touch base then. show you here quick so that big squealing in that past video we we're looking at you gotta take these heat shields off <sighs> right there for some reason they snap off and you can see how it's been leaking right up on there blowing up through here it's only one side I was wondering if I was gonna have both but Every single one of these heat shield bolts snapped off, so you better plan on replacing those. <laughs> a little bit of a project. Not too eventful, but that's how we like it. Um, so next step is we're gonna get these off, pull the uh, pull the studs out of the, pull the studs out of the uh, heads, get this all prepped back up. Get the new studs new gaskets all that stuff installed and uh hasn't been too crazy yet nothing too crazy um so if anybody's curious um if you've got a 2011 um i think this kit costs about 500 bucks from bd so 500 bucks compared to four grand yeah, I'll spend a little time to do it myself. This is the other projects you got going on here. So, all right, we'll keep on plugging on her. What are you looking at? Three eighths by 16 cut dread pitch. 0.3125 or a 516 drill bit. So that drill bit's the one we need. So we got a tap. What are we tapping? guys yeah first test load is done um, truck runs like a top so if, uh, anybody's wondering it took about 13 hours to uh, knock that job out but um, really it wasn't that bad um, if you compare it to, so they were 3,800 was their original estimate quote. 
so four grand basically. Um, you figure that out, the amount of hours that I put into that, we were about, it's about $200 an hour. And that's the first time I've ever done it. Could probably knock some time off if I did a couple of them, like a tech. So uh, just keep that in mind. Like I said, don't be afraid to get dirty. See you on the next one.